my MLI. Kind of. Yes, thank you, I appreciate you. How are you? Okay, let me turn up the volume because I did some stuff and I turned it down. <laughs> uh, I think I should be fine. Wait, whose birthday is it, Junior? <laughs> but, well, that was a guess. She's somewhere here. I think I'm doing fine. But I should have forced her. Okay, now she doesn't need this. She has two voices, I just realized that. Okay. Oh, it is her birthday. Of course they're in Leola. Why wouldn't they not be in Leola? I just really can it. This just... realm is... Oh, Barbara's in the No. Can't press buttons. If you ever. Imagine. I'm so close to finish up this pass. Jesus, that shit has a lot about me. are my commission because I do not feel like doing the ship one. I don't feel like doing that either, actually. Um... Okay. What you got?
I'm so used to um on game so to press like one button. Or a honk I mean. Um I'll figure something out. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Oh my goodness, but Tui. He is tall. I'm trying to get this soon. Let's see how it goes with the Fatui. I should have done the Fatui first. Oh, this is the one that I was showing you. The one in the video. He punches you. Okay, apparently, um... Yeah, teleport. I thought it was a lot closer than I am. No. I have, like, random... <laughs> yeah, they're all. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to be a Fatui. No, not that one. This way. Okay, let me. Okay, well, don't worry. Where did I go? Oh, where they at? Yeah, it's like Genshin or Honk. I mean, Honk. Not burning, not burning. Um, we're like on Genshin or on Honk. Wrong name again. On Honk, uh, different characters have different height. Just like, um, on Honk, Blade is one of the tallest memes. And I'm pretty sure the height is like 2.6 is like the biggest you can be because I don't think anyone's going to be taller. And if they do, then Blade needs like a... He needs to be taller. <clears throat> is it up or is it down? I'm confused. So is it for acá? Like around the same height, I think. I know there's a really tall one, but I can't really show you real quick. Gotta give me a second, cause. You can't run from dead. Okay. <laughs> That, that, that is such a fucking thing, but yeah. An instrument. There's her? I think they're on the same height, though. Yeah, yeah they're on the same height, so most of the women are like the same height. I'll do my best, but... I, I was doing something, I forgot to press confirm like a dumb dumb. Oh yeah, and his thingy, I have to show you his, his idol. It's a very nice one. Once I find him. Just get the handcuffs. <laughs> I just really like this man more. <laughs> I don't know why. 
have a thing for him. Plus, um... 200 crit damage on this man? And I think that's the only one that actually has like that high of a uh, crit damage. Okay, she, she doesn't count. It was 186. I need those four thingies. I know, I like her hair. And then when you do this, her hair glows. Hold on. His hair, I think, was supposed to glow, but it doesn't. Oh, yeah, it glows. Because they're Archon, so, um. And then there's, like, Nubia. I think his, like, also. Okay, we're gonna do that. Hello? You gonna grab it? I'm a pet you can't do it. Oh god. Yeah. I don't know where I went. Yeah, I like her a lot. I feel like this whole set is mainly a team of just 50-50s. Huh? I can't really jump. Oh, and the main reason I do the thingy with her thing, her E and stuff, because is because every time he uses it, it sets up like electrician, so it kills the enemies a lot faster. We're done. We are done. Okay. I do need to start some story quotes. Uh. Once I figure out buoyance, because I think I'm just going to do the story, and then I'm going to take myself a bit. Maybe. I do need to start doing fun things, stuff. <laughs> yeah, I have been. No, okay. Wow, the academia sure is busy during the day. No, oh, button. Hmm. But where should we go looking for people that we know? Magic. Oh. Traveler, Paimon. Sino! It's been so long since we last saw you. Yeah, it's really like I feel like the play. I can't really show. But the place I always get lost in is, like, Leo Way, because, like, there's three different ways that you can go, and two of them look so alike that every time I'm trying to do get something, I'm like, which way am I supposed to go? And then I have to go across, like, look across from one way into the other, I'm like, oh, this one, because it's just so confusing, and it's, like, one of the places that, like, I usually don't go to, like, the place I was at, like, the city... Thankfully, like, I kind of know the other places, but, like, by, in the back of my head, kind of, I got used to them, but, like, it's Leo that like, trips, trips my mind up, and, uh, I never know what I'm doing. It sucks. 
Really, it feels like we've been forever. You look, you've been keeping up, well, keeping well. You don't seem wary at all from your travels. If anything, you seem stronger. So, what brings you back here? Oh, nothing in particular. I'm just saw a really big mushroom out on the road the other day and suddenly missed all our friends and Smeru. <laughs> mushroom. <laughs> Funnily enough. We were reminiscing about you recently, too. It was at a group dinner. I look I, forward I, I feel to like I think I need to turn up the volume Something for the voice. It feels like it's so low, but let me know if it's right. Really? It's fine. You were thinking of us, too? What a coincidence! Indeed. Or as I call it, the beer yoni factor. No one? Uh... He's trying too hard. I love him. You really want me to say the rest? Okay. It's always rice to meet Stu again. Oh, I love him. Darn it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I win the bet by one you but time to pay up. Hmm, you like that one, huh? <laughs> you must if you remember it after all this time. Admit the truth. You have long been in awe of my razor sharp wit. Damn, 500. I need that 500 more. Think that it feels good to hit the jackpot. Think that it feels good to hit the jackpot. You're just too young to gamble. I know, right? <laughs> You're exaggerating. It's only 500 more. And? Hey, 500 more is still a lot of snacks to buy, <laughs> man. <laughs> Alright. I'll treat you to some desserts later. Anyway, I'm actually investigating a case right now. My mind is focused on work, which is why I didn't complete the joke at first. Hello, oh, um. A case? What happened? Nothing major. I'm trying to but see six the husband, involved, but apparently he's I not coming home to me. On reflection to handle this one myself. Need any help? We only came here to hang out, so we've got the time. You may as well take us with you, and then when you're done, we can, uh, you know. Nom, 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 nom. She's trying too hard to get food. Are you worried I'll forget about treating you to some sweets if you're not around to remind me? What? No! <laughs> Alright, was it really that obvious? Yeah. You obvious want food. <laughs> Still, that's a fine idea. You are the heroes of Sumeru. It makes perfect sense to work together. Alright, follow me. Oldsper? Can I run? No, wait. Thank you. I wanted to turn up the volume of the voice dialogue. I press on button. Hold on. Oh. Dialogue? Paimon coming in! Paimon coming in! Is this level okay? Hey, I wanna try something real quick before we continue. Okay, it's gonna be a pretty short stream for today. Mainly because my mouth still hurts like hell. Okay, hold on. Where the fuck is father? I found father. Alright, well I can't do that much with that. Uh, it's been a bit better. Ooh, I just went to crit damage. Um, it's just hurt. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Okay, crit ray. More HP. Okay, more HP apparently. They can make it right. Still not bad. Not a bad piece at all. It 
it's like getting better gradually, gradually slowly. But um, it just hurts like randomly. And I gotta wait for this medicine to take effect because I kind of forgot to take it um earlier in the effects and like the other one kind of wore off so it's kind of one of those i gotta wait for the medicine to um help oh then then the water okay i i don't i don't use my brain on this game no uh, my mom's gonna go pick up the steroids tomorrow. So. I needed to go into Corolla. Alright, we'll see what happens. I'm taking... Aspirin right now? But I was taking Excedrin, but right now I kinda don't have. Um, I kinda am running out of Excedrin, so I took some... The aspirin right now, and so, um, yeah. So she's gonna pick it up and bring it to me after work. Uh, need hydro. Okay. So this one's hydro. I can't find my characters. Um, I used to use, like, oh, I still use, um, Tylenol. I just don't know where it's at. I can't find it. And, um, I think I stopped taking it because it kind of, like, it, it I kind of used to drink it a lot because, you know, medicine, or not medicine, but, like, pains and stuff, so, kind of didn't really do much. Uh, what did I paint paint with? Uh, uh. I'm so confused. Okay. Oh, she could work. Okay. Alright, I'm looking for four stars, not five stars. That's why I can't find who I want. You. 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 Because I don't have like a lot of characters to use. I mean, built. Like, I can't say I don't have characters to use. I, I have characters, I just don't have them built. Um. I mean, got that for someone. Oh, God. You're not supposed to pro twirl pyro. Okay, look at this. Okay, you can't look at that. Okay. Can you not look at your character? Illusion shattered, torn to oblivion. Mainly my newbie has like over 200 something <laughs> damage over 67 crit, crit rate, which is so good. Oh god. Oh, so if you're not, if you're wondering, because I know you don't play this game, um, you're wondering why I'm not using her ult, is because, um, so this character basically has a thing that, um, she can't heal, okay, why is she flying? Um, she can only heal herself, she can't heal by, um, healers, so I, the only way that you can actually heal her is by using her ult. So just before you ask me, like, why aren't you using her thing? 
Because, like, every character has their, like, an old one, so. Ah, uh, this is gonna be my favorite one. Right here. And the main reason I have two. Okay, well, that's not fun. Time. Two hydro characters. Yeah, it, it's a thing. So basically, I can't really show you because you can't do that, but um, she has like that thing where like you attack and stuff and she like heals herself. It's kind of cool, but it's annoying. And, uh, yeah. So if you do that, and then you wait a couple seconds, and then you... Oop. Okay, and then you freeze yourself, yeah, mm hmm You do it, that's how you do it. I love being frozen. I feel like the only reason I'm gonna lose this is because I keep getting frozen. You wait. There you go. Now you'll do all the damage. Okay, and apparently get frozen. I'm still learning her, so that's the funny thing. Uh, is she literally- okay. I'm so confused why she keeps slowing them all. I'm just gonna keep doing- Okay, never mind, I lied. Apparently, I, I forget you can't change characters. Here, Lord of Sand, uh, this is not my sacrifice. Is there is no escape. A brash maneuver. I swear. Shine down. Now you shall perish. Oh my god. It's like not hard. It's just more of annoying because they keep like, you know, hitting my thing and I can't do anything. Because I only have one builder that I have built. And... So I, I, I can play Nuzi without needing a shelter, but, um... And this is um, still not fully built her because she still has like a couple artifacts that can be leveled up. So I mean if she's already this good <laughs> on fully not built is not bad. 
Okay, so this is my new movie. He's 230 over 28, which because of this, not that. This set, um, it says on the fourth piece, it says when the current HP increases or decreases, crit rate will increase by 12% for 5 seconds. So it goes up to a 64 on the crit rate. And then hers is for like energy recharge and hers is more healing base and his is just for um yeah and then this one for her set it just says as a wielder of this artifact set uses a sword claymore or form that increases their normal attack damage by 35 percent and i still have this one to level up um and then this one needs to be leveled up fully but i'm kind of out of stuff so um and then this one sucks, but it's the only one I have. And it has crit rate and crit damage. But I think it went into everything into something else. I'm pretty sure it went into just defense, but I have a good one. That has bows. I know it's... I think Shinha has a piece. Oh. There's this one, but it has double defense on it. And I'm scared that's going to go into either one. Because there is this one, but I'm scared it's going to go into crit damage, uh, crit, into defense. So we can try that one, see if it goes into defense at least once I'm just leaving. Because right now, the more she needs is, like, crit damage and crit rate, which is, like, the amount of damage you do. I don't have this one, but, um, it has, like, no crit rate. Unless it rolls crit rate, but I don't know, I'll say. And now has crit damage. So I mean, her thing's okay. I mean, 45 over 154. I just need at least a 50. Hmm. If you do, you can, you feel free to add me. Good night. I do that, but I, I don't feel like doing that. I do want to do the story quest finish it, but I'm tired. Yeah, it, I don't know. You, I mean, I could probably get more crit damage on Nuvi. Um, maybe. It's just a work in progress. And for now, I mean, his set is, like, pretty good. He does a lot of damage for, like, the set he's on. I just want to do this weekly real quick. Well, I've been playing this game for years, so I there's probably a 0% chance I'll leave it. If I do take a break for it, it'll probably be a short break. But I'll still probably do dailies just so I can get 5 star. Because there's some characters I've been needing to get. I need to open it so that it doesn't float in for everyone. So I can like... Thank 
see, okay. I want to show you this. You see, because of the passive and stuff, his crit rate goes up to a 64 over 230. And I know I just think to this weapon, but I know that if you get his, which is my plan, you get a lot more crit damage. So it might go up to a 300. Oh, I forgot about that. There is no escape. Torn to oblivion. Silence. down. And just like having two, um... It took me years. It, it took me years. It took me so long. Solidify. Order guide to like, figure it out. I, w I was always asking for help to play this game and stuff and like, know my characters. So it's a miracle that I know what to, I'm doing now. Wait, 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 wait. Can I damage you a lot? No, I can't. Oh god. Oh god. There's also like knowing your characters, just knowing what works for them. Everyone has like the character, the same character, but uses them a different way. So as long as you know how to play it like your way, like the character you're playing, it means there's like no judgment. Because I've had people go into people's live streams and be like, "You're using two DPSs, main DPSs, like on a thing, wrong set. That's not bad, but wrong set." <laughs> horrible um and stuff and like the thing is for this game it's like it's the game that everyone plays you don't have to play it the right way uh nope and that's like i have and that's why i'm playing this game like these characters the way i'm playing them because they work together they work for me and also, John Lee's hot, but you know, that's not the main reason. Yeah, there isn't. I've had people be like, You're playing these two characters together, they're not supposed to be together. And I'm just like, it's, Is this your account? Like, it's one of those things. Like, if this isn't your account, you're not someone that should be judging. Like, I played. I run three different accounts, three different teams, and they all work together, and somehow I... So, it's just like, you play it your, your way. I'm not gonna judge someone's, like, account for playing, like, three DPSs if they work together and they keep you alive. Like, if they die multiple times and nobody stays alive, then maybe, like, I'll be like, change some builds, but, like, don't you don't have to change your character. Well, maybe they're married, that's why they want to fight with each other. <laughs> I'll say, I would say there's like a canon couple that um they fight all the time, but I don't have, uh, I only have one of them, so <laughs> You're I can't really so much it about it. Or just <laughs> Shine down. Allow me. The frozen void. Illusion shattered. I hate this one. Where is it? Why are you? Here you are. Get back here. I 
every time I do it. The Tsaritsa's oh, benevolence perfect. has no place for transgressors! You should. <laughs> I mean, if you do want to watch these, like the videos and stuff, you can always watch them on like YouTube when, like, once I post them, because they do all will go on YouTube. This is awesome. Not that my videos are just on YouTube. Yes. You have my Discord again? Okay, you bitch. You can always message me in PM or in PM. I don't know. In Discord on my server in PM. I don't know. Not every wound will heal. I'm just trying to get my server to be more active. That's time goes on. God damn it. Yes. I'm gonna do this and do the story quest and then probably sleep. Cause why the fuck not? Um, shit. Oh, she's a tornado, so I can't really do much about it. Be not perturbed. Stabilize. Silence. Call me. Oh wait, I never asked for redemption. Never. Mm -hmm. That's not what I wanted. Okay. Stuck. They're gonna fill me up. I don't think I gotta fill me up. This never hits me now. Yeah, I did it. Oh my god. <laughs> This opportunity is quite hard to come by. Well then, amuse me. Surrender is a valid option. Not me forgetting how to play the game. You've made some progress. Guess I should take you more seriously. All you do is run. <laughs> I don't know how I knew where he was. <laughs> Order guide you. He's gone. I hate this when he baits everything. Illusion shattered. Allow me.
Oh god. Thirteen days, I'm about to finish battle pass. Or this battle pass is one of the easiest things to finish. Wait. Alright, where am I going? This way. Okay, apparently I can't jump. See him? The old man flailing around? Oh, is he the one you wanted to talk to about the case? Correct. His name is Cyrus, a former Spontamont sage. He taught both me and Lisa. Huh? Sino's teacher is in trouble? It's ridiculous. I'm just an old man who enjoys a spot of gardening, shopping, and wine. What sort of person targets an old retiree? <sighs> Professor, I've brought some friends. Ah, Sino. Now who do we have here? Hmm. Hold on, let me think. A flying fairy dressed in white? A youth who does not seem to hail from this land? My goodness. You must be the legendary traveler in Paimon. I've heard all about what you've done for Sumeru. Wow! Looks like we're really famous! I've told him about you before. You are my friends, after all. I don't want to be more than friends anyways, though. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get a napkin. That's right. Let me summarize the situation. A couple of days ago, Professor Cyrus suddenly received a threat letter. A threat letter? Exactly. Who sends a threat letter to an old man like me, for goodness sake? This is the letter in question. Cyrus, I have uncovered your secret. If you wish to prevent it from going public, leave 10 million mora at the back door of the cafe. Secondly, don't come looking for me. You'll never find me. But I will always be watching you and all of your secrets. Finally, if you dare to report this to the Matra, there will be consequences.
sure didn't mince their words. Clearly, there we go. This person must be desperate for Mora. Ten million more. What a joke. I'm just a single retiree with nothing to my name beyond the tomatoes in my garden. Where do people think I'm hiding ten million more, huh? In my tomatoes? I wouldn't be surprised though, honestly, if he did. I hear the worst news right now. There were no witnesses, so currently the letter is all we've got. So, Traveler, Paimon, let's put our heads together. <laughs> actually put our heads together? Paimon's ready too! Not actually. I feel like we're taking it in the literal sense. Alright, take a look. Do you see anything suspicious? I barely see anything myself. Alright, um, I'll put that, okay. Sorry that I haven't covered your secret. If you wish to prevent him from going public, leave 10 million more at the back door of the cafe. Secondly, don't come looking for me. You'll never find me, but I will always be watching you and all your secrets. Finally, if you dare to report this to the mantra, there will be consequences. Um, I feel like there's like hints. But I, I'm not smart enough for this. Hmm, I am, what we find then? What would then think? From Sino's description, it sounds like the threat letter didn't come in an envelope. <laughs> it was simply written on a crude piece of paper and left for Cyrus to find the paper and the ink. Yes. Some of the strokes are blurry. So is there something wrong with the ink? Possibly. And I bet the paper has something to do with it. Most of the paper around here is much smoother than this, and the ink is absorbed quickly so it doesn't run. This paper, meanwhile, it's uh, very coarse grained, almost as if it's made from some sort of plant matter. It's certainly not the same paper as we use in the academia, but the ink is nothing special. Just regular black ink that gets a blue tinge when applied to paper. Hmm, so do we think the culprit has a connection with the academia or not? Wait, check this out! Looks like this part got wet at some point! Huh, agreed. The staining suggests it was a colored liquid, not plain water. It also looks like it was wiped off with a damp cloth. A colored liquid? So... Tea? Wine? Well, he's at the cafe, so maybe Looks the like person there. Along similar lines. Let's go talk to Arof. <laughs> there are some things I'll need him to take care of. That's all we do. I hate that. You got teleported. And... Unless it's someone who's like, like, like up here. I think. Yeah, up here. <laughs> I don't remember how you get out of here. That's the only place that I swear to God I can never get out of. I'm not the best at <laughs> being at that academia. Don't mind me. Which door is gonna open? Ningo no, okay, Ningo no. Here go. Hello? It's up there. Well, how do I get back up there? God damn it. Okay. I don't wanna walk up the stairs. Yeah, don't tell me how to get to it if they're not telling me. Okay. Uh, 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 watch. Oh.
I want to see if there's anything I missed from last time I came here, because I do not come here often enough. I hate being allergic to the sun. It's so itchy. It's like Honkai where you gotta run around and find chests, even though most chests are like behind boss fights on engine. Okay, apparently that happened. Ah, there he is. I thought it was someone else. Mahamatra Sino, Sir Cyrus, ah, and the Traveler and Paimon. It's been a while. Measure breathe or off on the case. As such, I'm inclined to believe that the culprit in this case is a student at the academia. Somebody young and strapped for cash. Oh, one last thing. I'd start your investigation by taking a look at the cafes in the city. Oh, of course! You think the culprit spilled their coffee on the ladder, huh? They do look like coffee stains to me. Ah, that was cheap. God damn, I was I'm wrong. Not mistaken. The letter is written on a type of scented paper that has aromatics added during the manufacturing process. The kind often provided as writing material for customers in cafes and taverns. Ah, of course. Yes, like they sell in the gift shops. I remember now. Zaha Hadi bought some a while back. She said she was going to use it as wrapping paper for a vase. Understood. I'll assemble a team to investigate the points of interest immediately. So can I go with you guys, or am I gonna be stuck here? One last thing. Send some matra to guard the entrances and exits of Sumeru City. And change into plain clothes. Don't let them see you coming. Will do. Great thinking, Zaino! So, where do we think the culprit's at right now? I doubt they'll go back to the cafe. Yeah, I mean, they've probably been lying low at home waiting to see how Cyrus reacts. Maybe. Hmm. You're right, Paimon. Wait. <gasps> Which part? The last part. The culprit's approach. Whatever happens, they need this Mora. But just because they warned Professor Cyrus not to go to the Matra doesn't mean they know what he'll do next. So, like you said. They need to wait and see. And crucially, the culprit said they'd be watching the professor's every move. But I doubt they do that. Wait, are you saying... I understand I'm a flying echo, but you don't got security. Found you! They don't tell us them. What are you doing? You wrote the threat letter. <laughs> I I don't know what you're talking about. What threat letter? I sensed someone was watching us from the shadows the moment we entered the house of Dana. You managed to stay relatively well hidden for someone reckless enough to threaten Professor Cyrus. There are a lot of people here, but we were looking specifically for Arov. Whoever followed us the whole way was likely to be the culprit. Oh. I, I was just listening in, that's all. You know something big's going down when Mahamatra Sino shows up, right? So, I got a little curious. What's the big deal? You smiled when Arav left. I saw it as clear as day. Ouch. Is smiling a crime now? There are coffee stains on the letter. You mix some coffee with water, gently smeared it onto the paper, then wiped it off with a wet cloth. All to create the impression that the letter was written at a cafe. Closing off the exits to the city doesn't affect you because you already live here. And as long as the mantra were focused That's on the so cafe, fast. you would be free from scrutiny. The cafe was a red herring all along. You had to be somewhere where you could monitor the professor's movements. You can't pin this on me. I haven't done anything. 
Really? Then why are you shaking like a leaf? <laughs> the innocent have no reason to fear the Matra. But you, your heart's racing and your eyelids are twitching. Jesus. You're a terrible liar. I love him. I would never... Don't try anything or you'll pay the price. I love him. Come with me. Oh, you got one finally? Woo! Now we win. Well, that was over quickly, so I know I already caught the guy. I feel like it's someone else too, I don't know. You're telling me. One minute I go out for a quick smoke, the next minute I see Arav already on his way back to meet up with Sino. Uh, looked like a young guy too. Couldn't have been much more than 30. But after what he's done, I'm afraid he's ruined his whole future. Everyone, it's all over. Gosh, that was so fast! The culprit's name is Raka. A 16-year-old student in the Rotawe's Toshan. 16? He looks so old. Huh? 16? Cyrus thought he looked 30-something! My thought exactly, though. You checked his records. He's 16, a third-year student. But he looks so old. Yeah, seriously. There's someone else. What a foolish child. He's too young for the criminal life. What the devil so put him down this path? We question the culprit regarding his motives. He, um. Oh, just spit it out. Nothing can surprise me at this point. Very well. It's our understanding that Araka is a mediocre student who has been underperforming in his classes. He started taking extra tutoring to improve his grades, but developed a gambling habit around the same time and lost a lot of mora. Oh my god. Day, he went to the tavern for a drink and overheard some people chatting about Sir Cyrus's comfortable retirement. They mentioned that he's always arguing about his tomato plants with some old woman on the street. Some old woman on the street? <laughs> Goodness gracious, has that rascal attended a single one of his classes? That old woman is Kisharwar's very own professor, Zaha Hadi. How can he not know who Zaha Hadi is? I don't even know. Somewhere? I don't even know who oh, that is right. either. Yes, uh, uh, so another thing. We don't just argue about tomato plants. And what are they trying to insinuate by comfortable retirement? A man grows a few vegetables and suddenly he's living a life of luxury? No, oh, Barrett. It's more the fact that you have the time to grow vegetables in the first place. Araka mentioned he'd heard a rumor alleging that Sir Cyrus illegally obtained a large sum of money from the desert before retiring and kept it for himself instead of reporting it to the academia. Araka believes this money to be the reason why Sir Cyrus hasn't kept up with any academic research or other projects since his retirement. And given your advanced age, he thought you'd be an easy target to blackmail. Oh, a rocker. I'm at a loss for words. I'm so angry I don't know where to start. People make up rumors all the time. I am quite confident that Professor Cyrus has never embezzled a mora in his life. Arav, you'll have to find some excuse to interrogate a rocker again later. I need you to deliver a few firm fistfuls to him on my behalf. <laughs> I completely understand how you feel, Sir Cyrus, but I'm afraid that course of action goes against the Matra's principles. <sighs> Professor, there's no need to be childish about this. Oh, come on. I was clearly joking. Wait, shut up about that. Okay. Doesn't sound like it was joking to me. The academia will determine the appropriate disciplinary action against the student. And as for the individuals spreading rumors about the professor's obsession with tomatoes and some old woman on the street, there could be a slander case here. The Matra will continue to investigate. Who said I'm obsessed with some old woman on the street? Mind your wording or you'll start a whole new rumor. <laughs> oh my god. You seem confused. Oh, don't you understand? Uraka is just a young boy who made a very rash and very stupid decision based on some groundless rumor he heard. Besides, I didn't actually hand over any mora to him. The whole thing sounds a lot worse than it is. All it costs me is a little reputational damage. 
That's all. Please rest assured, Professor, that the Academia will issue a fair and reasonable punishment. It's yes, so pretty. I, no I wish there this. was like a thing where, um... But as a former educator, I'd still like to have a serious conversation with the boy's parents. The family lives in the city. They yes. make a skin where he doesn't have like the hat or like he can Correct. or like a idol where he takes it off or like something. They really like him with and without the headpiece. Never taken much of an active role in their children's lives. Oh, what a mess. You don't have to seal the evidence away yet, do you? I'd like to have that letter back for the time being, if possible. I need something concrete for when I talk to the family tonight. We have to show them how serious this situation is. The relevant authorities have already reviewed the evidence and are now discussing Araka's punishment. You can hold on to the letter for now. Just make sure to return it within a couple of days. Oh, so you'll be able to close the case in two days. Give or take, cases like this are quick to resolve. Mm. I wonder. Very good. Mm. Well, thank you for all your help. Perhaps we can all go for a meal together. Oh, my treat, of course. My apologies, Sir Cyrus, but I have a prior commitment. Enjoy the meal, everyone. Ah, I see. Well, that's a pity. But, Sino, you have to come. You found the culprit at record speed, and I owe you for that. Ah, and isn't Tainari in town at the moment? Bring him along, too. Oh, my Tainari. Hey, Tainari's in the city? He is. Tainari's master, Sir Nephis, called him and Kale to the Academia to help out on a project. They should be at Nephis's office at this hour. Though I must say, I'm surprised you're extending an invitation to Tainari. Did you do something to offend Sir Nephis? <laughs> Don't be outrageous. Nephis offends me all the time. It's never the other way around. Call anyway, of that. Hurry up and fetch Tainari. I'll head over to the tavern with the Traveler and Paimon. See you there. Uh, go on now. Don't keep us waiting. Don't keep us waiting literally walks as low as possible. Uh, I gotta teleport. Oh, okay, well, that's not what I wanted. Up a minute, head thing. Yep. Oh. Not to brag, but we never Kali. had problems like this at Ritawa Hiss back when I was still teaching. And if you don't want to take my word for it, you can ask them. They were students at the time. They'll tell you what it was like, won't they? I was out in the forest at least four days a week back then, thanks to a colossal workload from Master. It wrought havoc on my poor tail. So I didn't exactly keep up to date with what was going on at the Academia. Most of what I know, I heard from Sino after the fact. Professor's become a lot more laid back in his retirement. He used to be far stricter, and was especially known for being extremely principled. Wow. It's hard enough to stay true to your principles as a normal person. I can't imagine doing that as a sage. I need a builder one day. around at the time. I would have happily taken her on as a student. And then we'd have one more person who has to address Lisa as upper-class woman. Really? <laughs> Can't you just call her Lisa? She seems to prefer it when people treat her like an older sister. Oh, believe me. Back when she was a student, nothing made her happier than the younger students acknowledging her seniority. Whoa, more food? Are you sure about this? We don't want to take advantage. She always takes advantage. Oh, don't worry about it. Order whatever you like. And if it's not enough, order some more. <laughs> After all your help today, treating you to dinner is the least I can do. I thought that was going to be a fight. <gasps> My baby! 
Oh, Kave, it's been a while. Zahahadi was talking about you last month. How have you been? I've been all right, thank you. You're looking very well, sir. I'm glad to see it. My have baby! You eaten yet? Uh, care to join us? That's awfully kind of you, but I had a late lunch, so I'm not really hungry just yet. I'll have dinner a little bit later tonight. I just came to Lombard's to buy some wine, and when I heard some voices I recognized, I thought I'd come and say hello. So what's the occasion, anyway? Some sort of celebration? Uh, My baby. Consolation, more like. You wouldn't believe the day I've had. <laughs> Lyra's vividly recounts that day the events from the benefit of the Sounds like things have really gone downhill since I was there. Uh, my whole time as a student, I've never heard of anything remotely like that. I can't believe how young the guy is. Oh, what are his parents going to think? Oh, young people are always more susceptible to making rash. No, my them to show up as well. Be like, I'm here too. The minds are still developing. It's just an unfortunate fact of life. But still, this boy has some nerve. Just look at what he wrote. Oh, it makes my blood boil. Wow, yeah. Jeez. I will always Come on, be watching you and all of your secrets. And then he just followed you into the house of Dana? If this were my son, oh, he'd get the scolding of a lifetime. Oh. Luckily. I'm also an extremely principled person. Kave! Your order's ready, sir! Uh, coming! I'll have to get going. Have a nice evening, everyone. I'll catch you all another time. Okay, bye-bye! Here I am. The coffee beans are in here, too. Yep, it's all there. I'll stop babbling away now. Let's eat before the food gets cold. I thought someone was gonna show up or something when they were we were all busy chatting that you almost forgot about the food. <laughs> Luckily it's still all and you enjoy a delicious celebratory meal after a crazy day. What's gonna happen? Too tasty. Paimon's belly is about to explode. Oh, mine too. I'll have to walk home to burn some of it off. Thanks for dinner, Sir Cyrus. Master Tainari and I will bring you some homemade herbal tea next time. It'll do wonders for your sleep. Well, I look mm, forward to so that. Cute. In oh. fact, uh, could I trouble you to bring a little extra for the other old folks on my street? I'll be the envy of the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> no problem at all. I'll pack some up and bring it over. Thank you for treating us. Ah, I'll see you all <laughs> later. I better head home now and tend to the crops. Good night, Professor. Don't let those tomatoes keep you up too late. Hey, my tomatoes are serious business. I'm <laughs> not about to be beaten by Zaha Hadi. Anyway, I'll be leaving now. Don't stay up too late now, children. I bid you all a good night. Take care! Have a safe trip home! <sighs> all right. Now, we finally have some us time. What do you mean, us time? Well, I was talking with Tainari and Kale, and since we all have some free time, we thought we could all go camping together. Think of it as our way of welcoming Ooh, you back. Ooh, camping. I don't want to do that. Camping? Oh, that sounds fun! Paimon's in! Yeah, that's where it's bouncing to show up my tent pinching skills. Wait, no! That's my job! Don't take it away from me. Why don't you and Paimon help out Master yeah. or Sino? You don't have to play the hero when you're out with us. This is your chance to just, you know, laze around and switch off for a bit. Everyone, let's meet tomorrow afternoon at the riverbank to the southeast of Gandarvaville. 
No need to bring anything. We've already packed everything for the trip. Just bring your delightful selves and prepare to have some fun. You got it! We'll be there! Great. Then we'll see you tomorrow. Just run over there. No, I'm stupid. I'm right in front of it. Add Astra Abyss. Thank you for coming. Add Astra. Wait, did I not close my stuff? Wait, did I? I was looking for the light. Hi, welcome in. How are you? I gotta wait, right? That's good to hear. Uh, da -da -da. No. this one. I know what time I'm doing. Ooh, hopefully you feel better though. A day free from work? Time to set up. Let's head to the southeast of Gundarvaville and meet up with the others. I'm sorry. I know where I'm going. I'm s promise I'm s I know where I'm doing in this game. No way. Well, hopefully you take some rest and you start feeling better. Solidify. There is no, no sure. Now you shall I I do need her. Bow your head. Not because I oh, specifically want her, but um, that's the wrong button. Oh, that's good. I think I meant like from throwing up. Kind of have her thing, so kind of need her. Oh, I, I just spent money for no reason.
That could teleport, but I'm too lazy to teleport, so I'm just going to... Uh... This is like the first time in like a couple of days I've been playing, I've streamed uh, against them. They've been kind of addicted to Honkai for a while. Mainly because I got, uh, I forgot who. Uh, I got Robin. And I've been kind of trying to build her and then Topaz. But I really been wanting to do the fucking final stuff. So I did it go. And also I'm trying to get Wonder, but I don't think I'm gonna get him. Without having to spend money. Hey! Come back! No. No, oh, okay, we're just gonna fall off. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have that thing on um, these games that um, if I win him once, I, uh, not once, I win a character once pretty early, um, I lose the rest. But a momentary destruction. There is no escape. So we'll see. I'm gonna keep trying and. I've been, every time I have a wish, I've been like just jumping it into his thingy. So I'm hopeful, but I am also on a 50-50. And I don't think Genshin's gonna allow me to win three characters in a row. So, um, we'll see. Depends on, yeah, I, I got... Kazua, and then I got Father without really trying for her. I was, I was trying to see to my Tainori. And my friends make fun of me for it. They're like, you didn't want Father and you got him. Or you got her. I'm just like, I, I want to see to my Tainori. Well, I, my plan is to see six him, but because I wasn't really playing when his banner came out, I couldn't wish for him, so I had to wait till I lost to him, and he's somewhere. So, I'm trying to see six him. And when I wished, I was like, all right, five star, let me see who I lose to. Um... I don't know if this is a loss or a win, but yeah, there. Mm -hmm. Alright, where am I going? Kinda got lost. Okay, I got distracted. So hopefully I can get Wander before he leaves because I've been really wanting him, kind of. Try to collect all the Catalyst users, so it's kind of one of those things. Uh, the only one I don't really want is Baju. That's the problem. That's like the only vibe, like, I don't know why. I don't really like him. And I just have the second best, I guess, kettle of either, so. But I do want Ganyu just so that I can use this and use the her skin, but I also been wanting like another uh, cryo character because I've been wanting more cryo characters. I really like the cryo and hydro. That's like my favorite elements. Beat me to it. I'd say we're right about on schedule, actually. We were aiming to have them set up before you arrived. Down. Traveler, Paimon, let's go fishing together. 
Whatever we catch, we can grill for dinner tonight. You got it. Dinner oh. for us tonight. <laughs> You're gonna make me fish, aren't you? I hope I can contribute too. The other forest watchers gave me some fishing tips a little while ago. I'm really looking forward to giving them a try. I saw some very appetizing mushrooms in the area, so I gathered a few for us. I'll leave them here along with some fresh fruit. Wow, camping with the forest watcher is the way to go! They think of everything! And even if they don't... <laughs> it sounds like, what about me? This is true. I don't think I've ever had a single rough day in this forest. So, how has everything been going for you? low points, but we've had some unforgettable experiences along the way. I see. Oh, in that case, you should try a Valberry. I bought some from the market this morning. A valuable suggestion. Just don't bury your feelings using food. I uh, swear to God. <laughs> well, I Hello, him. to recommend something bittersweet. <laughs> oh, I have a sudden craving for fruit tea. I'm gonna go fetch some stuff. Bye! Child. She sure made a run for it. <laughs> she made a run for it. <laughs> Unbelievable. She made a run for it. <laughs> Everyone thinks so. So Kale chose the path of tactical retreat. Could it be she foresaw what shall soon come to pass? <laughs> I love my Santa. My dear friend, you know what I am about to say. Oh, that genius invocation poem. <laughs> Excellent. A kindred spirit. A great warrior can sense when a duel is nigh. B but it looks like we'll get told off if we start playing now. Let's enjoy the nature for a while longer. <laughs> stripping away the soothing sound of running water is nice no agenda just for life and enjoy myself i feel like i'm just gonna happen when it comes to this ah, we got a bite. i'll Kay. reel it in firewood spices snacks and drinks everything's ready once Kale gets back, we can light up the fire and start grilling. Wait, did she come back? Where's she gone? <laughs> She's not back? This is so relaxing. So she back? It's just so nice to go camping with friends. There are three tents. Which one do you two want to take? Hmm. How about the one on the left? Whatever I find one's us. Well, Paimon yeah. just thinks the ambiance here is a little better. Hmm. True. But it's also the closest to the water. If there are any sleepwalking fungi around tonight, they might stumble into your tent. Hmm. Well, that's no good. <laughs> Take my weapon. You can use it to bar the entrance. Anyone would think you were sealing the gates to King Deshret's mausoleum. <laughs> Excellent. Then this tent will be an impenetrable fortress. I'm back! How's your appetites? Ready for the barbecue? Always. Why do you feel like something's gonna happen? I... I don't know. Oh, it smells so good. My mind's drooling. Someone sure is desperate to eat. Hmm. I think it's time to add the seasoning. How do you like your skewers? Well done? Medium? Rare? Wait, what? Isn't that just for steaks? Hey, 
If it works for steak, maybe it works for other things too. Medium well for me. Okay, these are about ready now then. It'll be a few more minutes for anyone who wants theirs well done. Well, I'm gonna dig in. I ran wolf down the delicious food. Oh, that was so delicious. If Paimon's stomach had space, she'd eat three more skewers. Shella's just gonna I eat them right now. Too. Oh, here comes the food coma. If you're tired, then go rest. You must be getting sleepy too, Paimon. Why don't you guys head to your tents? Sino and I will clean up. Tonight I show you mercy. Our sacred duel will take place another day. Oh my god. <sighs> Good night. Oh, Paimon's struggling to keep her eyes open. Oh, don't forget this. The staff of the Scarlet Sands. Wait, you were actually being serious about that? It's yes. a very powerful weapon. Try it. Paimon can't even lift that thing. Fair enough. You sure you don't want it? Yeah, Paimon sure. We'll be fine. And even if we do get an uninvited guest in the night, Paimon will be here to take care Hi, of Hi, welcome in. How are you? Let's not forget, I have my own trusty sword, a divine artifact, flare of county of Isles, monsters. <laughs> that reminds me of a parting king of invocations. I... Oh, I'll tell you about it tomorrow. Before you get now, yelled at by Tainari. It's time to rest. Sleep well and sweet dreams. I'm just doing the Sino second story quest. I think it's the second one. The trip has really has me relaxed. And peace and tranquility of the forest or whatever. Um, oh. I think they should all be here. Uh, Traveler, Paimon, are you in there? Could you come outside for a sec? No. Look at this. What the? What's this sword doing here? Is it supposed to keep out intruders? <laughs> Evidently. Uh, what? Who is it? Oh, what time do you call this? What time do you call this? This boy does not recognize them. <gasps> Paimon's gonna take out the sword! Yeah! Jeez. I'm going back to sleep, me. <laughs> I wanna go back to I'll sleep. Hate them. Why did they come all the way out here? Sorry to wake you up at this hour of the night, but we've got a situation on our hands. Let's get dressed and talk about it outside. It works. Something has come up, and since it pertains to Cyrus and Sino, I deemed it essential to inform you all. Whoa, whoa, back up. Let's start from the beginning. I'm so confused what is happening. Where'd the wine cups go? I could have sworn I left them here after I washed them. Ah, there they are. I'll have a cup, too. <laughs> Can you see if the cookies are still on the table? They are. And so are the fruits. I'm so used to them arguing. Hmm. <laughs> oh, this is so bland. I should have gotten a few bottles of what Sino's group was drinking last night. Do tell. What were they drinking? Oh, right, I forgot to mention. So, I ran into Cyrus yesterday evening when I went to the tavern to pick up some things. 
He was hosting a dinner for Sino, Tainari, Kale, and the Traveler and Paimon. Anyway, they got a bottle of Lombard's new vintage for the table. At least, I think that's what it was. It looked pretty good. Hmm. Sounds like they're all tangled up in this. You know what it's about, right? Sixteen-year-old kid tried to extort Cyrus. He was asking for ten million mora. I'm sorry. I heard some people talking about it on the streets, yes. Didn't take them long to catch the- Get point. the hell out of my the way, Deku! ...with the case by now. Thank you for the second. <sighs> I wonder what Sir Hello. Nephis and the others will make of it. Oh, Cyrus showed me the extortion letter, too. It was crudely written, but the paper had this beautiful pattern on it that I've never seen before. It really caught my eye. Uh, give me a sec, I'll sketch it out for you. They're so nice to each other right now, it feels so weird. They're always arguing. <laughs> I love how just reading. Okay, done. Take a look. It's like, eh, I don't care. You see what I mean? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen writing paper like this around before. God knows where the culprit got it from. Hmm. Interesting. These are all motifs associated with the tribes of the desert. What? Really? Take this, for instance. Looks like an outline of a spire, similar to the kind found on some ancient palaces. And the crisscrossing and mirroring here. I recognize that, too. It bears a striking resemblance to an ancient emblem, one that hasn't been used in a very long time. Whose emblem is it? It's the emblem of the Temple of Silence. Silence? I'm so confused. <laughs> After discussing it with each other, we both agreed that something didn't feel right. So we went looking for you. But how did you know this where was I was? Way to come from the city. Alhatham figured you were probably with Tainari, so Gandarvaville was our first oh. stop. Okay. But the forest watchers told that us that you camping. Then, just as we were heading off to the campsite, we ran into Sino. He said he was on a supply run. We exchanged a few words, and then he ran off. Uh, hold on. So what's the deal with that emblem you were talking about? The Temple of Silence, you said? What is that? Should we be worried? Is Sounds about right. Okay. Give me a second. L let me get Kale. <laughs> Basically, let me go get my child. Gosh, she's so, so cute. you've never heard of the Temple of Silence? Hmm. <laughs> well, to put it simply, how would I not have heard of it if I don't know what it is? For over a thousand years. You know, These like I don't days, think they've ever talked to me about the it. Temple of Silence office in the academia. Theoretically, it's responsible for the custody and disposal of information and documents not fit for public dissemination. At least, that's what they tell the outside world. In truth, it's essentially a vestigial institution nowadays. There's an office with their name on it, but it's functionally obsolete. Historically speaking, the original Temple of Silence is said to have been established by Hermanubis, one of the seven pillars of King Deshret and the greatest of all sages. Most of the organization's members hailed from the desert. By contrast, none of the Academia Temple's current members are from the desert region, nor do they use any symbols connected with the desert folk. So the Temple of Silence at the Academia is just a fake? Wow. It's possible. The real question is, why? My guess is they're covering something up. So how do you know all this? Sounds like some pretty top secret stuff. Did you forget? He did a stint as acting Grand Sage and kept the pay raise even after he resigned. Oh, yeah. I wish I had that. Paimon did totally forget about that. So you took the chance to read all the top secret documents while you were acting Grand Sage, huh? If you're asking me whether I familiarized myself with the documentation in my office, I would respond that that's a perfectly normal part of any job. 
So much about this doesn't make sense. Why did the emblem of the Temple of Silence appear on a threat letter from an academia student to Cyrus? So oh, someone else. Only 16 and doesn't have any family ties to the desert. So where could he have seen that emblem or gotten the paper? You said you ran into Sino, yes? Did you tell him what you've just told us? Yep. He ran off as soon as he heard what we said. Given that Cyrus is involved, he's probably halfway through solving the case by now. Hmm. Not surprised. Still, we should try to catch up with him. At this hour of the night, Sino will probably go looking for Cyrus at his current residence. Hmm. If the Academia's Temple of Silence really does exist just to cover up the truth, the sudden appearance of this emblem can't be good. and sure to stir up trouble. We should pay a visit to the Academia. Yes. As the Sage of Amorta, my master ought to know the truth about their office. You can ask him to tell you what he knows. The more information we have, the better prepared we'll be for whatever happens there. If this situation is connected to the real Temple of Silence, the emblem has to be part of a bigger conspiracy. Kale, could I trouble you to send a message to the Corps of Thirty? Tell them to keep an eye out for Sino and Cyrus. Traveler, Paimon, you two come with me. We'll go after Sino. Sounds like a plan. Let's go. Cyrus has been living in the city lately. He rented a place near the field so we can keep an eye on his tomato plants. Then let's go look for him there. Hello, uh, that is very far. Um, let me not. Uh, uh. Oh, I went from oh, this is like a really quick thing, like to like. <laughs> Here we are. This is the place. Ah, huh, we might be too late. Looks like nobody's home. Oh, Sino moves fast. If he was here, he's probably long gone by now. I know that voice. Is that Tainari I hear? Ah, Professor Zahahadi. Wow, so it really is you. My goodness, whatever is going on tonight? We're looking for Sino. So, he's already been here. Yes, not long ago, in fact. He knocked on my door and asked if I'd seen Cyrus today at all. I told him the old fool left early this morning, and I hadn't heard him come back. So we went to his place, and would you believe it? He's gone! Goodness knows where to. It must have alarmed Sino, because he took off in an awful hurry after that. He never did explain what this was all about. <sighs> How serious is it? Well, if Cyrus isn't at home... Oh, it sure doesn't sound good. Professor, did you hear that a student recently tried to extort Cyrus? Why, yes. When I left the house that day, I noticed he was watering his flowers in the field in complete silence. He had a piece of paper clutched in his hand, and he looked lost in thought. I could tell something was troubling him, but he wouldn't tell me what it was. If Sino hadn't happened to visit him that day, he'd probably still be holding on to that thing. After seeing the letter, Sino told him to contact the Corps of Thirty, but Cyrus was very reluctant. He claimed it would only damage his reputation. Eventually, he relented, after much persuasion from Sino. Huh? Cyrus didn't want to report it? Well, that's strange. When we saw him, he seemed pretty okay with the idea of the kid getting his just desserts. 
As a former sage, it's possible Cyrus still has enemies at the Academia. That's why Sino was so insistent that he report the matter to the authorities. I right. was there while they were going back and forth over it. So Cyrus initially hoped to stop this from going public. But why? He only reported because Sino forced him to, which means Cyrus must know something about the Temple of Silence. Oh dear. What on earth has that old fool gotten himself wrapped up in? Oh, I do hope he's not in danger. Oh, I almost forgot. Sino left me this letter to pass on to you. He wrote it when he came by earlier. He realized you might come looking for him. Thank you. Oh, that's smart. What does it say? Let Paimon take a look! My friends, this is a rather complicated state of affair. Unfortunately, I cannot disclose more than that. I refuse you to understand it, except that I have, I had to act alone in at this stage. Don't come after me. My friends, this is a rather complicated state of affair. Unfortunately, I cannot disclose more than that. I ask you to understand and accept that I had to act alone at this stage. Don't come after me. <sighs> yep, that sounds like Sino. Thank you, Professor. Please do not worry. We will do all we can to protect both Sino and Cyrus. Traveler, Paimon, let's head to the Academia and regroup. I'm trying to figure this shit out. Teleport, I guess. I think I was not supposed to go down. Was well, it? I mean, I was. I'm so confused. This way, okay.
Oh, they're already there. You're here? I thought you were going after... Ah, I guess you lost their trail. We went to Cyrus's house. No one was there. Sino got there before us, but he was long gone by the time we arrived. He didn't say where he was going? No. He left us a letter and told us not to go after him. Can I really share what you learned from Can't say I'm surprised. Well, you... <sighs> Typical Sino. Anyway, some updates on progress on our end. I drew the emblem from memory again, but in more detail this time. That looks like... That, could, that looks like somewhere I've been to in the forest or somewhere in academia. I checked some ancient texts for a similar design. The one I found was a little blurry, but the similarities in the general form and certain details were clear enough to confirm a match. Yeah, and we're lucky we found anything at all. It turns out the emblem was all but lost to history. We scoured the entire academia collection, and that book was the only one with a record of the motif. Meanwhile, Arav managed to get Uraka to disclose his source. The one who told him about Cyrus's embezzled funds was a young man from the desert. According to Uraka, he had a striking presence and was well-educated. Apparently, the two met in the tavern over a game of cards. The guy claimed to be in the city for business as part of a merchant caravan. Uraka was intrigued when he heard what his new acquaintance had to say and brought up the idea of extorting Cyrus for Mora. The guy encouraged him to go ahead with it, then handed him some pen and paper to write the letter. I see. So it could be that this person planted the paper intentionally. So, how do we find this guy? Did Uraka say where he is? He doesn't know. He claims not to have seen him since that day in the tavern. The man gave him some tips on how to carry out the extortion, but from then on, Uraka was acting alone. Nephis and Arov have gone to meet the Court of Thirty and review the city's entry and exit records. Also, Nephis admitted that the Temple of Silence in the Academia is just a facade. The true Temple of Silence once came to the Rainforest to establish a collaboration with the Academia, but as time went by, the sages gradually became corrupt and foolish. The Temple of Silence felt that they could no longer trust the Academia and ended the partnership. They retreated back to the desert about 400 years ago. Ever since its inception, the Temple of Silence has been the guardians of King Deshret's civilization and belief system. They traveled throughout Sumeru, sequestering and guarding any wisdom that posed a threat to the people's livelihoods. At its roots, it was a legitimate and reputable organization whose purpose was to guide people towards the right path. The academia of the day knew that the split would damage their reputation if it became a matter of public knowledge. And so, they set up a dummy organization of their own to conceal the truth. That is interesting. Not only that, but they managed to keep up the charade for hundreds of years! So how did Cyrus become acquainted with the true Temple of Silence if they left centuries ago? I'll bet that's the question that bothered Sino. Probably why he went after him in such a rush. Whoever is behind this, getting Uraka to extort Cyrus was only the first step of the plan. Their true goal in doing so was for Cyrus to see the emblem on the letter. He must have recognized it right away. That'll be why he didn't want to involve the authorities. He probably hoped to take care of the whole thing by himself. Unfortunately for him, Sino had other plans. Since the desert is where the Temple of Silence originated, that is in all likelihood where Cyrus went. I have to go after him. Really? Are you sure that's a good idea, with how you respond to the heat? Why don't we send someone else? I should be fine, as long as I bring plenty of water. Besides, I just can't shake this ominous feeling that if we don't catch up to them soon... <sighs> Everyone, I have news from the Corps of Thirty. Master! Oh, so that's Nafis, Tainari's master? Oh. It's a pleasure to meet oh, you, Traveler. I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to skip. Several independent eyewitnesses have reported seeing Cyrus and Mahamatra Sino leaving the city at different times. Both were heading in the direction of Caravan Rebot. I was going to suggest that you join forces with the Corps of Thirty in this case. However, as I'm sure you've already heard from Alhatham and Kaveh, the Temple of Silence is involved. 
The Academia has made a number of decisions throughout history that I am ashamed to talk about. It may well be that no better choice was available to them, but those actions are nonetheless a stain on our legacy. I won't attempt to make you understand the Academia's perspective. Now is the time for action. I understand where you're coming from, Master. But I'm afraid the situation might be more complicated than we thought. I think we need to keep a low profile, or at risk making things worse. Good point. If Cyrus is involved with the other side, or worse, if he's fallen into their hands, and... Uh, everyone, we have to get Cyrus and Sino back safely. We cannot afford to lose them. That's the plan. Yeah. Whatever you need, we got you covered. Really? Wonderful. You have my most sincere gratitude. Arav and I will continue to follow up on the lead from Uraka. Kabe, I was like, who are you talking about? Hayfer, and I just saw like him and I saw that to person. The duties of the House of Dana. Tainari, you are planning to go into the desert, correct? I am. Kaveh, yes, I'll can. be okay. Can you stay behind them. to help Master and I'll hate them. Well, if you're sure, okay. But be careful. I thought... He said Kali. Thank you all. <laughs> all right, Not let's go. Kave. I, I can't hear names, apparently. You'd better get moving. Don't forget to ask for help when you need it. Will do. Let's go, Tainari. Hopefully we can catch up with Sino before it's too late. Knowing him, he's probably covered a fair distance already. But we still have a shot. Let's take it. <laughs> Can I not like just do this? Like, folks, I don't want to do that. Oh. What on earth are you talking about? But like, can't you just focus on? Cause I didn't want to do this class. All the.
Ja, wenn wir. I had to jump in, huh? Challenge me. No, I hate this. <laughs> If it stayed in the same spot, it'd be so much easier. I'll just talk to her real quick just so I can leave this place and continue my sign up stuff. The face. I was thinking that you might be the problem, Paimon. <laughs> he is a problem. Before Paimon ran into you, Paimon never ran into any trouble. At most, when she was super tired, Paimon got caught in some strange whirlpool and sucked out into sea. And even then, you fished Paimon out. <sighs> anyway, for Nahida's sake, maybe we should think about heading to our next destination for now. Next stop, Fontaine. All right, let's continue. Oh, look who it is. Running into you in a place like this? I can see you two still love wandering around. Oh, it's Dia! Hmm, since when are we just wandering around? We're usually taking care of some serious business. Even though it may have nothing to do with our journey. But never mind that, <laughs> what brings you here? I just finished a commission in the desert for a usual client of mine. Nothing too interesting. Just escorting a shipment of goods. I'm on my way to report back. That's when I saw you two all the way over there, chatting away. What were you two talking about anyway? We're planning to leave from Marina to Fontaine. Huh? Y you serious? Can't say I saw that coming. Mm, but you are travelers after all. I guess you'd never stay for too long in one place. Been here for too long. Like this will become a rarity. Ah, I'm starting to feel sad just thinking about it. Hey, how about I gather a few mercs to escort you two? What do you say? Thanks, but no need. Oh, Paimon had no clue you'd miss us so much. But don't worry, we'll come back to see everyone when we get a chance. <laughs> Sounds good. 
All you need to do to get to Fontaine is cross this stretch of desert and navigate some waterways. Knowing you two, I'm sure it won't be anything you can't handle. So, uh, when are you leaving? I will leave as soon as I finish a few more preparations for any shipping stages. Oh, wait a sec. Paimon just remembered there are still a few dishes in Sumeru that Paimon hasn't tried yet. Now, where is that list Paimon made? Oh my god. Hmm. I see. Guess you won't be needing a going away party or anything. It's sad enough to see you go like this. Though, now that I think about it, Sumeru wouldn't be what it is today without you. Seems true heroes always prefer leaving quietly. <laughs> By the way, should we go say bye to Nahida? In her case, she'll know from our dreams anyways, yeah. Oh, good point. Then there's no need to bother her in the real world. Then, I guess this is goodbye for now, Traveler and Paimon. Whether as a client or a friend, you're always welcome to come find me. Be sure. Goodbye, dear. Bye bye, Sumeru. Okay, now I can do this. Hell yeah. So I wanna Okay, we made it to Caravan Rebat. Where should we go next? Hmm, maybe we should ask the nearby guards if they've seen anything. Hold on. Look over there. Is that That's her. Dia? Mm, you sure you want to brave the desert alone? I mean, it's your choice that, at the end that of the day. That looks like Sino, though. Still. It's not my first time. I'll be fine. Oh, and Candace. Sino. If you're really going to go through with this, then at least take our advice. When you're packing for your trip, budget for five days more than you plan to spend out there. Makes sense. Okay, I'll go get ready. He's like, oh my god. Thought we might find you here. You're trying to retrace Cyrus's steps, aren't you? <sighs> Didn't I tell you not to come after me? I thought I had a good lead on you. Nope. Well, sorry, but we never uh, agreed to that. Why would you go off on your own like this? Nothing personal. It's just a complex situation. And I'd rather not involve anyone else if I can help it. <laughs> Takes a special kind of person to get Sino chasing them all the way out to Caravan Rebot. <laughs> but why so coy today, huh? You only gave us his age and description. Why can't you reveal his name? Is he Sumeru's most wanted or something? Oh, also, <laughs> hey guys, it's been a while. <laughs> we just, like, did part of your quest, so, so you'll leave. So I can continue the story of our friends is the whole reason we're here. You're looking well. Glad to see it. Thanks. She's so pretty. I love her. Jess and I came to Caravan Rebot on business. We ran into Sino as he was asking about some elderly gentleman's whereabouts. Some people say they saw him. <laughs> Guess he stood out as an older guy heading into the desert alone with just a sumpter beast in tow and very few supplies. That's got to be one heck of a story there. Sino, it's okay if you can't tell us anything about the case. But let us know how we can support you. We're here to help however you need. The more people we have working on this, the quicker we'll be able to find the person you seek. No, it's not that simple. If I'm right, he'll be doing everything he can to avoid us. We spoke with Zaha Hadi. From what she said, it's pretty clear that he wants to try and solve this on his own. 
It won't be easy trying to find him, him better. when he's mm. deliberately trying to cover his tracks. Sounds like this is far more complex than we imagined. Still, if he started from Caravan Rebot, the chances are that his route took him past Aru Village. He may as well ask if anyone there has seen him. <sighs> My thanks to you both. Once this is resolved, I will find a way to repay you. Ah, uh, come on. No need to get all serious. Just buy a round of drinks next time we're all in the city or something. <laughs> That's a deal. All right. So, you all set? Yes. We'll handle it from here. And thank you again for your help. I don't take it for granted. All right. Then we'll leave you to it. Just remember... If you change your mind and need some reinforcements, we'll be here. And don't think you'd be imposing. You can depend on us. Don't worry, we'll keep him out of trouble. <sighs> yeah, usually I like finishing these whole stories, but I've been screaming for a while. I kind of don't feel the best, so I think I'm going to take myself to bed, and I'll finish it tomorrow when I'm more awake. Um, so that being said, I hope you all have a lovely, wonderful rest of your day.